Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I've been talking for like three minutes, and I have had myself muted. And I should have seen it, because it's right on the mic. Oh my goodness. Professional, this guy. Um, hi, Jason. Thank you. Thank you for the notice. I appreciate it. So starting over, <laughs> all the things I said before, um, I'm Warren or Quake. I'm baking today. I'm doing by special request some lemon and raspberry swirl cookies. The special request from my sister for Mother's Day. <laughs> Yay, it's a miracle. Um, and Mark is too busy playing a game to have noticed and told me. Um, he also betrayed me earlier by watching a movie I wanted to watch without me. So maybe he's just out to get me. But we are modifying some recipes for chocolate shortbread to make a, a raspberry version and a lemon version. And then we're going to marbleize them, swirl them together. Um, and we're going to hope for the best because I've never done a marble cookie before. I've done like checkerboard cookies, which are uh, more less less difficult than you would think to, to get that pattern. It's not really a big deal. You just make blocks of it and lay them out and it's, it's simple some water in here. I don't want extra liquid in here, but I am not expecting. So we're gonna we're gonna try it. We are going to whisk up our butter to get it nice and ready for incorporating our sugar. And because I was good and prepared in that way, um, this is real easy. Took two minutes, two seconds to cream this. Um, so really the only difference between our two cookie doughs is one's going to have lemon flavor and one's going to have raspberry flavor. And I'm going to incorporate that in the sugar for the raspberry. I've got some freeze dried raspberries and my sugar in the food processor and I'm just going to blitz it until it's all nice and sugar textured. Blitz just means blend, pulse, puree, make into powder. And it just takes a few. And that's all I need my <laughs> food processor for today. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a longer go. So I get to wash a whole appliance for about 20 seconds of work. Um, but that's fine. Sometimes you need to use the right tool. And this is the right tool for this. Just like I am the right tool for finding adorable cooking videos on the internet. <clears throat> I hope that sounded not like I was calling myself a tool, but yet describing myself as one. I don't know. I probably came out wrong. Um, so I'm just going to add this straight in here. Cream my butter and sugar and raspberry together. whiff of raspberry dust in my face and of course start out slow so you don't fling your raspberry sugar everywhere but of course because we're doing it this way it's already gorgeous and red um, and hopefully we will maintain that Hi, Setsuna. Welcome in. I'm glad you could make it. And Sailor, hello. We are doing our best to fulfill a request from my sister uh, for Mother's Day. We're going to hang out this weekend. And I was kind of tickled that my sister's request is uh, taking any food requests from me. She would not eat food prepared by me when we had a dog, because she assumed there'd be dog in the food. Dog hair. Not dog. Dog hair. Um, so she wouldn't eat it. But I guess she is okay enough with cats being in the house that she will eat these things. Uh, I am going to get rid of the whisk at the appropriate time, because I don't want to use this for the lemon, because I don't want to mix them together too much. 
so I'm resigned to having extra whisks, yeah. Making two flavors of things. Um, always gonna have twice the dishes. Or somewhere, somewhere more than one set of dishes. Uh -huh, okay. So. Uh, and then it's just dry ingredients. So let's grab baking soda, salt, getting the scale out, right? I mean, and this cam is not the greatest for picking up color, but I assure you it is vibrant and lovely and hopefully will remain somewhat that color as we bake it. Oh. I was going to actually bump up the flavor with some raspberry extract just to make sure that flavor comes through because even though we added just a bunch of straight up raspberry right there, um, we're adding a bunch of flour which is no flavor, just structure, so we want to make sure the flavor pops just a little bit. Uh, if, no, if people here don't know each other, Satsuna is a lovely streamer on the East Coast. Uh, they stream a whole bunch of indie games, been playing a lot of Octopath lately. Uh, and Terry Billie Jean is a horror and action-y, shooter-y gamer uh, who's been streaming a bunch of Doom and Blair Witch. So go check them out. They are great people. And I have many, many fun, fun chats with them. What am I doing? Okay. That's, that's about right. I'm measuring, but also kind of eyeballing. It's going to be good enough. I am not patient enough to do really careful measurements, but... I'm also not doing anything that's terribly touchy. These cookies are going to come together. They're going to be nice to us. Um, 260. There we go scale aside for now and then I am going to just mix that gently together hi Robo welcome in and oh hello better make something to eat really quick before it starts starving yes please grab a snack uh, settle in I'm going to be making these cookies for a while and then because I'm not in a rush like I was last week I'm actually going to give them time to chill, and while they're chilling, we'll make a couple of things that uh, Mark and I are going to have for dinner. So, feel free to grab a snack, hang out, and enjoy. I don't want to mix this too, too much, because I don't want to super work the dough, because we don't want a tough cookie. We're not developing any gluten. Uh, now that it's mostly together, I'm just going to get in there with my hands because it'll be easier to just form it into a single ball. And yeah, we don't need any color to this one because even after adding the flour, we still have a lovely gorgeous red color. Thank you so much Robo for doing those shout outs. Um, and feel free to give yourself a shout out. Are you are you hanging out tonight Robo? Are you uh, playing playing games? Robo plays D&D. &D. Oh no that's that's Wednesday. That was yesterday. Um, Robo plays D&D &D with uh, the Featherfall tabletop community. Also a lovely bunch of people. Uh, I believe that is where I met Terry Billy Jean, so uh, they must be good because they attract good people. 
Yeah, uh, feel free to shout out Featherfall. Uh, the operate owner operator of Featherfall uh, is a lovely person. Stops by the stream sometimes and says hey. I'm just going to wrap this up and get it chilling, and then we can bang out our lemon dough, which is going to be very similar. It was either on Featherfall or on one of Friend and Stream's failure. some room and we got the second butter all ready to go give that a quick zzz around the bowl and again because we left it on the counter it is room temperature and creams up in two seconds flat Um, I can't use that because that is full of red, and this dough we want to stay kind of neutral color or yellow, um, but I do need to scale again wherever I put it. Get our sugar in here, and then we will get some lemon flavor in. first and get it going. Just want to get it nice and smooth. Okay, and we have a few sources of lemon flavor today. We do have lemon extract, but I do want to go light on that because it is going to be a more potent lemon flavor and that's just going to back me up as I use some lemon paste. I have all that right in there. And I could actually probably throw just bought some lemons so why not throw some lemon zest in there too. Because we have it. go and it'll also give it some nice yellow flecks in there uh, make sure you don't go too overboard with zesting your lemon because you just want the yellow bits because that's where your uh, fragrant and flavorful oils all are and it's going to give you lots of lemon flavor but you don't want to get the pith the white part in because that is really bitter so unless you want bitter cookies, which we generally don't, uh, I'm going to leave that out. But I will use that lemon later, because now that it is zested, it is not going to last very long on the counter. So we will find a use for the juice there, somehow. Okay, there is our lemon in there. And then the exact same thing as before. Some baking soda, some salt, because not because we're trying to make salty cookies, but because putting some salt in everything as you're cooking it will help develop your other flavors. <laughs> You'll have to go check out Terror and subscribe to her channel if you want that emote. And I believe she drew it herself. And I do have some emotes coming finally. I have three being worked on right now that I found commissions for. Some friendly artists that also stream. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Some are already drawn, but they're just getting reformatted 
to be an emote size. Uh, and I hope it will not take me too long to figure out how to get them on because I've just I've never done it before and I gotta figure it out. I'm sure it's simple. Three, we have three. Three ready to go. Three almost ready to go. Okay, uh, that was everything except the flower. And I could throw some yellow food color or something on here, but I don't think it's necessary. And I was just talking to my sister today about um, cupcakes that she's ordering, and they have to get them with natural food dyes because some people that she is providing them to have allergies to artificial dyes. So in that spirit, I'm going to just avoid it because it's not necessary in this case. Sometimes you want really bright, vibrant colors. And I'm sure there's some um, product I could find that was naturally occurring. Source. But I don't have it right now, so we just won't worry about it. It'll be close enough. There we go. We are done with the scale. Let's grab another of my favorite scraper spatula dealies. I love these things. <laughs> oh, we don't, we try not to kill people with food. Food comes from a loving place. And I think if I was going to poison someone, I would not use food to do it. I think that would not make me happy as a person. I wouldn't be satisfied with that death. Um, and also toxicology, I don't know. I'm sure there's got to be better ways to do it. Uh... But yeah, I'm not. I'm never going to intentionally poison anyone. I'm not going to say that I won't accidentally undercook something at some point that might give someone a little tummy trouble for a bit. But we're never going to do that on purpose. Ooh, that is feeling really soft. Probably because the uh, the raspberry provided a lot of extra dry material to soak up that butter. Whereas the lemon didn't have that, so I'm just going to add a bit of flour because it is too soft and sticky for me to work with right now. Because I wanted to get in there and finish bringing it together with my hands and I could tell that it was just going to be too wet. So that looks, that looks better. I want it to be a little bit crumbly and then when you mush it together, it'll form a ball of dough. There we go, much better. It should not be, it should be just barely sticky or not sticky when you touch it. Make a gun that shoots out poison dart frogs. Oh, so I'm not actually, I'm not actually extracting poison. That's safer for me because I don't have those thief skill ranks. Or assassin skill ranks? Depends on the system. Um, it just shoots the frog, so I just have to find the frogs, and as long as I wear gloves, I can be fine. And maybe I just get like the the psychedelic frogs, so the uh, person gets to have a little enjoyable trip. And then maybe he falls off a cliff or something. That way it's only like halfway my fall, right? Again, we're, we're not endorsing killing anyone. But if we were, we would do it in a video game. <laughs> I was listening to Sarah Silverman podcast today, and she's like, I like doing things in video games that I don't like doing in real life. So she likes killing people in video games, because that is not something she enjoys doing in real life. I can get behind that. Okay. 
this is in the fridge, chilling down to get firm so we can stamp out things because Mark, as part of the request, printed out some uh, fun cookie cutters for me. So we've got a tulip going on and a starry kind of flower that I dropped and a butterfly. So hopefully those will come out pretty nice. I'm not going to expect to get those little tiny antennae. I don't know who designed it and thought we'd get those little bitty antennae in a cookie. Um, good luck. I, I'm not going to even worry about it because I know, <laughs> I know how uh, precise I am able to be and it's not that precise. So, but they should be fun and cute regardless. Okay, clear some space. And now those need to chill out for a little bit. So I figure I'll do a little bit of bonus and work on some dinner stuff. So, if you're ready for something a little less sweet, Hey Rod, welcome in. Rod is another fun streamer person. Uh, they have been streaming Super Mario World, those ridiculous levels. If you ever played the SNES version that you had to unlock the Star Road, and they all had the the like old timey, old timey like '70s slang kind of stuff. Oh, Hawks in too. Another fun streamer. Okay. So, so soon I may be look away because this is not going to be sweet right now. I apologize. Um, my board is a wee bit dirty. Had some old, old cookie dough on it. What am I doing? I'm getting a platter. Let's find a not unreasonably. So maybe I'll just get a large plate. Large plate. There we go. I'm gonna build a salad right now. One of Mark's favorites during the summer when citrus is in season. If I can find. Oh, it's in here. I just got it. Oop. Dropping everything. I should make Mark come over here and find it for me. Ah, goodness. House of shop today. Ooh, there's more pizza in here. Mark, find the arugula for me. Find the what? The arugula. Or did you put it in that thing? You did. I put it in, no. no, that's that's just lettuce. It's in a bag. Okay. Can I look? Mark's gonna look, because I've got lots of chopping to do anyway. So <laughs> uh. Okay. Pretty sure it's not in the car. Oh, Bo's here too. All the fun peeps coming in today. That's Mark. He is the one who always requests this salad. I suppose I can just throw that. So mostly citrusy. I am just going to shave off all. It's not the arugula. I was looking for the arugula. That's lettuce from the rest of a container of mixed greens. The arugula we bought at the farmer's market. I don't think it's in the car. If it's in the car still, it is no longer good. So I'm just gonna uh, gonna section down a few types of citrus. And get those ready to go on top of some lettuce once we find it. I would usually use arugula, but if we can't find it, if it doesn't exist, then I won't worry about it too, too much. Oh, we found it.
I think I knew he had it. He thought it was in the car. Too good for in the car since Saturday, arugula. <laughs> that would have been no good. I am making the orange salad. He's he's suddenly interested. I'm using pistachios today. We don't have any Marcona almonds, I don't think. So, really, this salad can be whatever sort of bar prepper. Oh, because you would uh, be zesting and getting wedges of things ready for, for beverages. Inside is so dark. Oh, yeah, that was uh, the blood orange. We are eating very colorful food today. This probably should have been opened up earlier because it's a little wilty. But that's fine. It's still going to taste fine. And I'm just going to kind of spread out my citrus around it. So that one's a blood orange, we've got a caracara orange, and we've got a, just, I think this is a regular Seville orange. Whatever it is, it's a, eh, is it the same type? It might be the same type. Whatever. And I'll probably just throw that lemon in because uh, it's already zested, and uh, I wouldn't normally, but it's already just sitting there. Uh, instead of lemonite, you could certainly throw on like grapefruit, a uh, different type of orange. The, the idea is not to get, it's just to get lots of different colors and make a nice, vibrant, pretty looking salad. We're eating a rainbow. Gang it up extra hard. But now there's too much of that one color, so now I want to get the other blood orange. At least the blood oranges are easy to identify because they've got the they've got the red kind of blush on them. Blood orange also makes a really delicious and pretty uh, curd because of the color and because it's uh, much more tart than other oranges, so you don't need to like add a bunch of lemon to help it out. So, uh, blood orange is probably my second favorite for making a curd behind grapefruit, just because I really like, say I didn't want the bitter from the pith of the lemon earlier, but I really do like the bitter when it comes to my grapefruit curd, or for like beverages, like one of my favorite beverages is nice and simple, just a um, vodka and grapefruit. Okay, got a board full of peels, and they blocked access to a garbage can. It's all right. Just gonna get a few other things to go down on here. I've got red onion that I probably only want half of. But I do want the same like kind of half moon kind of shapies going through everything, so I am just gonna slice that through to keep half moons. I was chatting with another cooking streamer earlier about uh, chopping on camera, and I'm paying somewhat attention to what I'm doing today. But um, as long as you have proper cutting technique. And you have your claw, he you referred to it as a claw. It's a pretty apt description. Um, then you're not gonna be in danger of slicing yourself. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that over. Separate it out so we don't get huge chunks of onion in any one bite. And I'll kind of toss this all together at the end, but before serving. But I like serving it in the layers, or putting it, plating it in the layers. And then when you scoop, you kind of make sure you get some of everything. <laughs> I 
I don't think I don't think he actually will come in vacuum. Mostly because I don't think we have a vacuum capable of doing that kind of at least not citrus peels. Yeah, a robo vacuum would be better. I've got some fennel to slice through as well. And if you don't like fennel, leave it off. Not a lot of people do. And I'm going to have to figure out something to do with the tops of this fennel because there was a whole lot of greenery on it. So I'm thinking about making like a pesto kind of thing with the fennel top. So it's going to be a licorice pesto. And I'm not sure what to serve that with. If you want to come over and vacuum Robo anytime, you are more than welcome. But please don't come over just to vacuum. Come over to hang out. And then, I don't know if that would be more weird if you came over just to vacuum or if you came over and vacuumed while hanging out, which actually sounds more weird. <laughs> I did buy a mop. I have a mop coming in the mail because we don't mop enough. And that's a pain, and hopefully this one will be nice to us, and I will want to use it. And then some radishes, because they are going to be crispy, nice and, uh, nice and a good texture. Texture. You want a range of textures in any sort of thing that you do, but I also want to slice those nice and thin. If you have a mandolin and you are okay cleaning your mandolin, um, go ahead and use that because you'll get much more consistent thin slices, but also use a guard so you don't slice your fingers at all. Of course, the bonus of being the chef is you get your little tasters along the way. Mm, good radish. Now I'm going to dress this really simply. Um, I could put like feta on here, but I'm not going to, I don't think. I think that's enough radish. No, maybe another small one. There's another small one over here. I just got out a bowl of the veg that's hanging around my refrigerator to use up and I'm putting on the things that I think will be good. I also thought about doing artichokes as a side dish earlier, but I felt like that was more than I wanted to get into today. There we go. That little corner that doesn't want to get sliced up. That's the one that you eat. Oh, I can use this lemon to dress it. No, I don't want. I want to. I want to be fancy, bitch. I'm gonna be fancy with my canned rosé over here. I'm gonna use just some champagne vinegar over the top of here because I want to. I don't want it to get soggy or anything, but I do want to start. Um, toning out a little of the bite in the radish and the onion. So I will give that a spritz over the top right now and a sprinkle of salt just to start having stuff get nice and married together. And we usually have Marcona almonds to top it with, but I couldn't find any, so today we're using pistachios, and Mark will deal with it. Probably should taste them first to make sure that they haven't been in the cupboard forever, but no, they're good. Taste them out. I got lucky. Right? And this is super simple. It's delicious, and it's a super simple side dish because you're just chopping and dropping. There's no, no, uh, nothing complicated, no cooking. Although, my next thing I'm going to do 
uh, is get stuff ready for a burger, because this is going to be a side dish for a burger. I have to walk all the way around to get to the trash can. Do it one more time. Take things to the trash. Because I do not have... I was looking at a, a like countertop composter that actually like blitzes everything down into a like soil like consistency and you can actually use it for um like the potato vegetables or the potato um utensils that you get some places um that say on them are compostable but they only can be composted at like an industrial facility and this thing will actually do it. But then I looked at the price tag and I was like, I don't want to drop that right now. So maybe, maybe sometime in the future. Hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of this cutting board because I'm going to work with some meat now and I don't want meat on my wooden cutting board. Oh, you have you've seen those before, Sitsuna? Um, got the last. I need to move this so I don't splash meat juices in it. Meat juices are good for anime, they are not good for my raw salad. I think this is the last of our Christmas present meats that we pulled out of the freezer earlier. And I'm just going to add some egg and breadcrumbs and seasoning and form some patties and those will be good to go. Nicely defrosted for me. Mark is playing Dead by Daylight over there. Just hear occasional swears as he gets caught by the killer. Seasoning. Seasoning is always good. Danny, how are you? Welcome in, Danny. If you're able, Robo, give Danny a shout out. Danny's been playing, I think he's been playing some Dead by Daylight recently. Um, but he also plays a whole bunch of Final Fantasy, doing super hard stream mode that I could never do. So props on that, and also a bunch of other other fun games. So, go give him a follow. We have our, um, what am I looking for? I bought some breadcrumbs. I know I have breadcrumbs somewhere. Where, where are they? Where, who knows? They're somewhere. They exist in this house. Oh, okay, there they are. Um, <laughs> um, we have our cookie doughs in the fridge chilling down and we are making dinner while those get ready to get rolled out and cut into shapes. So I am taking care of some dinner as a little bonus. We just made a citrus salad and I'm gonna make some burger patties and grill those up and by grill I mean just do them on the stove here because I think Mark is too invested in his game to go and turn the grill on that's still a little dry or a little wet a little wet add more breadcrumbs Go. That's better. It's 
always nice getting in with your hands just because you can feel what's going on. You can tell if things are the right texture. Um, it's like when you're making bread. I mean, I was talking to some people earlier about why well, I don't make more bread. And I don't make more bread because of these counters. Uh, I don't want to knead bread on tile. But if I could ever get these counters replaced, then maybe that's something I would do. I don't know why I just washed my hands. I need to form these into patties. And then I need to cook some bacon, and then I need to pull some cookies out of the fridge. This is probably... Probably three patties worth. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's three. I got some pretty big buns, so there'll be one, one bonus one. So whoever gets here first can have the third burger. It's a race. Go. And I'm betting it'll be down to Robor <laughs> or Jason, because they're the only ones who live in the town. Oh no, sorry, Taylor called dibs. So third burger is for her. Sorry, everyone, you were too slow. Oh, I didn't see your... Oh! <laughs> I didn't see that earlier, um, Robo. Yeah, this is just prepping bonus stuff for dinner because cookies are chilling in the fridge. And what are burgers if not for just beef cookies? Right? Right? I think? No? I don't know. <laughs> oh, so nice. Jason's getting in his car to drive a burger to you, <laughs> Taylor. Mark has decided to make a presence in the kitchen when I am busy doing a bunch of stuff. I don't know why he's getting dessert for himself when dinner is like just about ready to be served. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They can't hear you. Can you? You're gonna make me like knock something over. Shoo! Out! I'm, I'm in trouble. Shoo! No, no, don't go now because I need to close the fridge. You're going to break a door. Ugh. <laughs> he is just not doing any of the right jobs today. He's making Robo do all the modding. He's getting in my way. All sorts of inconveniencing me. He's eating dessert before dinner, which cannot can be a can be a thing, but not when dinner's like about to be on the table. There's radish. Pistachio. Fennel. It's fennel, pistachio. Hi, Zach. Oh, Welcome in. Oh, and uh. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, oh. Zach, did you raid me? <gasps> you raided me? What happened? What did this happen? Plenty of raids, plenty of raids. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Welcome in. And of course, this is the most confusing time to be here. Okay, I can talk again. I should have a drink. Hi, Zach. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing your community to come and see me during this confusing time of my stream. I am certainly, certainly making cookies, even despite, despite all of this. 
Hi, uh, for Raiders, I am Warren. Welcome, Jade. Welcome, Zach. Welcome, everyone else. Um, uh, Warren or Quake, I am baking today. We have cookies chilling in the fridge, and while those are getting ready to go, I'm making some dinner too as a little bonus. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I just said, Zach, uh, burgers are just meat cookies, so it counts. It counts. They're the same shape. They're little discs. They're also delicious. They have mustard frosting. I don't know. I, I should probably stop that metaphor um, before I go somewhere crazy. Um, but we made our lovely citrus salad with arugula and citrus and fennel and radishes and pistachios. That's it. And we're making some burgers. We have some, I should probably turn on a fan before I set off an alarm. I've got bacon going. I have burgers coming to the table in just a minute. Cutting towards myself with a knife. Never do this. Do as I say, not as I do. Got buns ready to go once the bacon's done, and then Mark will be happy and eating and not be in my space anymore. <laughs> this is thirsty work today. It is getting warm in here. He left, he left a strawberry. He left a strawberry on my dish rack. That's a strawberry. There's just a strawberry sitting there. What's this? What's this? Ugh. Ugh. Goodness. Okay. Thank you, Lenny. I need you here to do some crowd control. Um, just like, just be my blocker. So he can't get into the kitchen because he just, he just causes trouble. Just causes trouble. <sighs> bacon is cooking. Bacon is cooking. Uh, while the bacon is cooking, let's get these things out of the way again. I'm quickly running out of counter space. To really put the food processor away. Whatever. But I'm going to get out those cookie doughs so y'all don't think I am lying to you. And we are going to marbleize our cookie dough. Let us get a mat out because we cannot work on a tile counter so we do not want to get whatever is in the grout because no matter how you clean no matter how much you clean it there's going to be something you don't want there so as far as i can tell all you need to do to marbleize your cookie dough is one have your first one mixed enough but you just kind of like work them halfway together. So, oh, hi, Sumu. Welcome in. Twitch playing in my car. Ooh. <laughs> Super early day. Get ready for bed. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by and bringing me your community, Zach. I very much appreciate it. Have a lovely sleep and a lovely day. And I will see you next time. So, yeah, I am just kind of halfway mixing my doughs together until they look like they are uh, blended enough. So I'm going to keep two discrete colors looking like marble. That's why I keep saying marbleized. So that when I roll it out, you're going to get some lemon and some raspberry in every bite. At least that is the idea. So, I want to stop before I go too far. And I think that is going to do it for me. I'm going to wrap this back up 
and then take care of my bacon. This raspberry is a little crumbly. Maybe I need some more liquid in that one. I thought I was good, but it'll work fine. Just gonna mush it together until it works. Because that's cooking. Reuse my plastic so we don't have to waste any more. Yeah, it smells good. I can smell the raspberry, which is a good sign. And let's put that back in the fridge. I lost a little bit, but that's fine. I think I'm going to leave well enough alone on that before I lose any more. Let that chill out a little bit more. Throw that back over there. Okay. Yeah, now I wish I'd made pickles. Pickle sounds really good. I'm staring at some cucumbers over here. And I suddenly want pickles. <laughs> yes, we're, we're switching back and forth between cookies and burgers. So you might have seen some cookie, and then you might have seen some beef, and who knows what is what. Put the smoke alarm off. That would be less fun than usual while streaming, I think. And I can just cook the burgers right down in that bacon fat. Which is half the reason that I do the bacon on the burgers anyway, is just so I can cook the burgers that way. Let's take care of some stuff that's in my way. Alright, I have soap and wash my hands so much. That's what I get. They're switching back and forth between raw meat and anything else. In fact, let's Get that out of here before we cause more problems. And you can, just, you can look at the glamour shot of the salad some more. And I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask Zach how his stream was, but I'm betting it was good. Zach's streams are always good. Bacon done. I'm sure someone's going to tell me if it's not enough bacon for anyone. And they might be right. Okay. I should turn down the heat on that because I don't want to cook my burgers super high. And this was pretty good quality meat that was gifted from my sister-in-law. So it can be a little bit on the rare side and still be good. Um, even though it's ground meat, I still want to do it. Like fully medium, I wouldn't do like a medium rare like I would a steak, because it's ground beef. Um, but a medium, medium to medium well, it's going to treat me just fine. Ooh, I should get some cheese ready. There is no 
of cheese left. Jeez. It used to be a full block of cheese, and then Mark got to it. Do I have a spot for this? Let's get over here. Get my cutting board back. I'm not going to worry about getting lettuce for my burgers because we've got a whole ass salad full of lettuce. Could you want an onion, so I don't need to worry about onion on the burger any either. So our burger is going to actually be pretty simple. Just burger and bacon and cheese and tomato and sauce, I think, because we got that lovely salad on the side. There we go. And of course, got to test it. Make sure it's good. Hmm. See, if Mark, had if Mark had waited, like, just a few minutes, we could have had tester cheese instead of early, early dessert and wasting a strawberry. Just about ready, though I am going to wait on mine. Probably flip these burgers. And that is why I'm glad I turned down the heat. So if I had not, those would have been burny instead of just crusted. I get down, get down next to the stove. Is that the good content? Or is just me bending over the good content? Oh, and I want to put the cheese on. Cheese, cheese, cheese. I get myself a little steam to melt it down. Mark from missing all this bonus cheese. Mm-hmm. Burger. Okay. Back to cookies very soon. Don't need a knife anymore, I think. I think we we're done with that. You never think... I don't ever think I have a small kitchen until I am trying to do, like, two things at the same time. And then suddenly it's just... There's no room for anything. Just waiting on that. I can actually clear myself some room and get that onto more mm. bacon. Move my cutting board over here. work on my cookies. This can go up here. Somehow. Aha! Okay. We had just managed it. Just 
try this counter. And turn on my oven. And get out of the cleaning cutting board that was underneath, because that one is now going to be hard to use. I swear I'm organized. I know what's going on. Okay, let's get this plastic out of here. I might have to use it again because we'll refrigerate in between rounds of rolling and cutting and baking just to make sure everything stays nice and firm for us. I heard a thing. What thing happened? Something happened. Something happened. Might have been a follow or something. I don't know. I apparently have not good notifications because I turned everything off because I didn't like how anything was showing up. I should have just done half of this at a time. other thing about these cookies is they're all going to be really pretty and all really unique because it's marbleized. It's not like a pattern. It's not a it's not a planned pattern. Tell people what you're doing. What is that? I have been telling. I've been narrating it the whole time. Mark is over here telling me to narrate things. Yeah, that's cookie dough. It's cookie dough. My goodness. <laughs> Tay was just over here racking up points, waiting for me to have to do my my uh, husband squats redemption. So now we test the cookie cutters. Mark, come make your burger for yourself. And look at that. That is lovely. It might be a little thick. We'll see. We'll see. And oddly enough, if I can move them without damaging them, the butterflies might actually have antennae. So now I should actually just get a bowl to put this in. I wish I hadn't used my biggest bowl for the meat now. So now if I pull up all the dough around my cookies, it'll make it easier for me to pick them up. I should actually get a spatula to do this with too, to make my life easier. And there's the pre, pre-baking version. These will look nice. I'm excited. They are also pretty big cookies because to get details, we printed ourselves really big cutters. It's really easy to print cookie cutters with a 3D printer. Although, you can only use them once because while the plastic is food... Oops, whoops, broke one. It's motion back together. The plastic is food safe, but because it's porous, you can't wash it effectively. So, uh, you can get stuff growing in it. So, if you're going to print with not fancy plastic, because we don't have 
super fancy plastic. Um, just use them once and then toss them, which of course I always talk about wasting too much plastic, but in some cases it just might be what you're doing to make something nice, as long as you don't do it too often. Oop, I lost my stem on that one. That's okay, I don't really care about the stem on this flower. Those butterflies actually came out remarkably well. Hopefully that will translate through the bake. I'm going to actually bake these ones extra long because they're so thick. I had not quite enough room to roll them out as thin as would have been ideal. But I am still just amazed that they have antennae. Like, that is flabbergasting me right now. They've got tiny little antennae. My goodness. Yes. The cookie cutters will self-destruct after reading this message. Did he come back here? He didn't actually come back here and make his food. Ah, that putz. He's a putz. I'm going to throw this back in the fridge with some plastic over it. Plastic that I've already used today. Cooking just uses a lot of plastic in general. Robo knows the score. Robo knows firsthand how putzy Mark can be. Flash our cookies. Careful, careful, careful. Find our towel. And our oven is almost there. Our burgers are done. I've turned them off. Got their nice cheese skirt on them. Turn the heat back on just to crisp up my buns. Everyone likes nice crispy buns, right? Find my beverage. I've been working hard. Fifteen minutes, hopefully, those will be good to go. Then I need to find a... No, this actually might work best in a Tupperware. So I have some frosting left over from the self-portrait cookies, if I can find it. And I want to ice some of these. I'm not so these are going to go half to my mom and half to my sister. And my sister is going to want icing cuz her she will share with her kids. My mom does not like things so sweet. So we will keep hers unfrosted. They might all be unfrosted if I can't actually find it. Somewhere in here. Oh, here it is. Right in front of my face, like it always is. 
because that's what happens when I make, when I'm looking for anything in the fridge. It always ends up right in front of me. So I'm actually going to pour some into this other Tupperware. And I'm going to mix it with a little water because it's gotten just a little stiff over the past week. Hi, Sky. Good morning. I hope you had a lovely sleep. Are you working today? Sky is our good friend from Indonesia. Also a great streamer. Streams horror games. Great to send him a few jump scares whenever he's on. We just put our cookies in the oven and finish making some dinner for Mark, although he is too busy playing Dead by Daylight right now to come and get his dinner. So if you get here quick, you might be able to sneak it out from him. So I'm just thinning down this icing. And not going to comment on what the icing looks like. And I'll get a couple of colors. You know what? This will be fun. Let's do this. I'm going to get a toothpick. And just kind of draw some red. I need more than that. Just going to kind of swirl this around. And then I ideally, we can just dunk our cookie down into it and pull it out. And it'll have a nice lovely pattern for us. So that is our that is our intention at least. Hopefully it'll work out. I'll just sit there until it's ready. <laughs> yes. My my stepfather when I was a young child uh, actually he didn't give away my dinner, but we were at a restaurant and this restaurant had a couple of video games at it, and I was had ordered. I was I was young. I was I don't know eight, nine maybe. Ordered, went off with a few quarters to play some video games. Was doing uncharacteristically well for myself that day, and apparently dinner came, and I didn't know because I was doing well on my video game. And he ate it. He ate his dinner, and he ate my dinner, because I wasn't there. I wasn't, uh, paying attention. So, um, I guess just don't get too caught up in anything you're doing and forget about your food. Um, these days, if I forget about something, it's going to burn, because I'm cooking it. But, yeah, uh, don't, don't raffle off or give away food that isn't supposed to be. Fun story from my childhood. Uh, what else are we putting in our thing? Is this it? Sauces. Sauces. Uh, any lettuce? No, there's a whole ass salad. I know, but it's, uh... Oh my goodness. He's complaining, no, I'm not complaining. that there's no salad out for his, for well, his I'm burger. Complaint. Not a complaint. Just a fact. See, yeah, I mean, it'd be better if they just yelled across. I would have been okay with that. I would have been not, like, super hangry because I would have had food. I was I was very, very, uh, I actually can't, probably don't remember how I really reacted, but I'm sure I was not a happy camper. 
Did you grow up in Sacramento, Robo? Oh, Vallejo. <laughs> right, Bay Area. Um, yeah, no, I, I was also a uh, big child uh, and missed very few meals. So I guess maybe just, especially missing that one, was sticks in my head as a uh, formative memory. You need the salt and peppers to make it. Are you putting sauce on? <laughs> so here's here's dinner with with salad. I should scoop him some salad. Dinner for Mark, salad with citrus, and his burger, which I will have when I finish the stream. But I will take my buns out now so they don't get too toasty. Well, but no, I'll just turn the turn the heat off and they'll sit there so they stay warm. Yes, we are eating well tonight. I'm gonna have to go on a diet all day tomorrow. Although I was good, I did get up today and play some Ring Fit, which was exciting. <laughs> I have had played a grand total of two times before, months ago, and the game was like, hey, you haven't played in a while, do you want to go down like a couple levels? Ma08 Big Zam. If you are hungry and you don't have food in the house, absolutely go get yourself something to snack on. Um, I would say, yeah, just don't eat if you're not hungry. If you're hungry, go get some food. If McDonald's is close and convenient, no, that is good. Um, yeah, I don't know what your options are. So, but yeah, eat if you're hungry. Always. And don't eat if you're not. Ideally. Now I'm just waiting six minutes. Cleaning up. I should make myself a space to put my cookie tray when it comes out of the oven. There, space made. I have these ready to go. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time, but I like almost never say no to some chicken nuggies, because um, chicken nuggets are delicious, honestly. Uh, get them with honey mustard. Honey mustard is my favorite. Um, or whatever your favorite is. Eat what you like. Keyboard is very dusty. I'm hoping it's not a bunch of flour. Should probably come and use the vacuum on it at some point, but not around the food. I got five minutes. Five minutes on the cookies, and of course I can't ice them immediately. But I'll toss one in the freezer briefly to <laughs> to hopefully get it to a state where I can ice it and then do something special. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it'll work. Mark needs something. What does Mark need? I think you know it now. Hmm? I think you know it now. I think he came in searching for a skewer for his burger. I am correct. 
I don't know where your skewers are. I... <laughs> he needs a skewer for his burger. I don't know. He needs that restaurant experience since we haven't... We've been to a restaurant once. <laughs> and uh, a couple months ago was the first time we'd been to a restaurant in a year. Which was exciting. And I mean, still a little scary. Uh, it was nice. It was really isolated, which was fine. But still, I mean, trying to get back into somewhat normalcy. So he just needed his fancy, uh, his fancy restaurant experience. I did not put these cookies too close together because I don't want them baking into each other. They are expanding a little bit. Probably because they weren't as cold as they could have been when I put them in. But they are holding their shape reasonably well, I think. Once during the pandemic for Gaynerd's birthday. I don't believe I know who Gaynerd's is. Or at least I don't know the steamer name. Yeah, I mean, we went to a restaurant with uh, Mark's family. And we were in one side of the restaurant all by ourselves. That, that's what I figured, is that I knew the person, but not the username. Oh, okay. Why why is he never in the streams? <laughs> oh, he is. He's just silent. Silent partner. He has the monies. I don't know. Silent partner, all the control, none of the... None of the presents? <laughs> okay. Well, tell him that I appreciate him being here. Always nice to see... Always nice to see him in the stream. Even if it is a silent presence. We are here for you. I am here for it. That's good. Okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. I apparently need to find some more enticing things for Teo to redeem for. Because <laughs> he is just uh, saving up for that 100000 Maybe I will uh, do another bait and switch and just raise that cap <laughs> when he starts getting close to it. Because he is updating me on percentages like as he goes. It's like 1%, 1.5% per stream, depending on how long it is. <laughs> so it's only... I don't know, 80 more streams <laughs> until he can redeem it. And then he can't make me do any exercises until then. So, I mean, who's really who's really winning at that point? Everyone. But I am going to try to play some more Ring Fit. I'm going to try to um, play a scurry game. Oh, for me. Um, so, I did try to sit down with Mark and play Resident Evil 4, because it's co-op, and uh, the TV, I think, is just the split screen. The split screen was not working for me. I was having some anxiety about just the smallness and the darkness, like, because of course Mark was making it nice and spoopy. Um, it was very dark. I would like to turn up the brightness just so I can see. Like, I kept running into tables. Um, when we got through the beginning into the um, into the sewer, and then I'm like, I need to stop, cause, and I know I was picking up all this experience, and apparently you can make your stamina bar better, and then you can like just beat the hell out of things more. <laughs> um, because I didn't understand that there was a stamina bar first, I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna melee the heck out of all these zombies. Um, and it didn't work very long because I ran out of stamina, and your character starts just like tapping them, and they do nothing. They don't care. They bite you. Uh, but also just the aiming with the controller. And so if I was playing uh, on my computer, like online instead of just the local co-op, uh, it could have been maybe a little bit better for me. So we're going to try again. 
I'm gonna hopefully be able to play on my own screen so I just don't have so much uh, so much anxiety with it but yeah so we'll try again um, but probably not for a redeem because I don't want to play RE8 yeah exactly because I, I would just use all my bullets really fast and I kept running out like I had six bullets, I'm like, ah, zombie, boom, 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 and then I'm out of bullets, and I'm like, well, I guess I have to melee, and then I run into stamina, and I can't melee anymore. Um, so, but here are the first batch of cookies out of the oven. There are some recognizable flowers and butterflies. They spread a little bit. The ones I make coming up will probably be a little bit less spread, because I will put them in colder, um, but... The red did tone down a little bit, but it still looks good. We are marbled. They smell. You can smell the raspberry and the lemon. So I think that is a success. I am pleased. Pleased as punch. Very happy with that. And I put one in the freezer. We'll give that a minute, and then hopefully I can try this little, this little dipping method. Hopefully that'll work out for me. And then a little surprise. A little surprise for the end. Just to make it extra fancy. But we need a sec. So that the, uh, the icing doesn't just melt right off. That was my consistency. It's a little... It's still wet. So, that's good. Ooh, sugar. I'm gonna get a sugar rush just from a little dab of icing. this away just as a delaying tactic <laughs> oh, I need a countdown maybe I could put a be right back stream on just so I can I can check out who else is online so I know who I can go do raids to afterwards because <laughs> we're almost done here. <clears throat> but let's let's give it a try. I am impatient. I'm sure it is still too... Oh no, it actually cooled down nice and quick for me. A little warm but not steamy. I can touch it. Okay, here's our cookie on a plate. We're going to try... Dipping and <gasps> whoop. No. Okay. Oh. So we need a little bit of work on the uh, the removal. <laughs> and of course, being fully chilled will help with that because they won't be so brittle. But oh, and it's it's running because it's still warm. But that's okay. I know. Blast freezer. And then... Sparkles! We got sparkles! Can you see the sparkles? It's shiny. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh, once we get it away from, like, the meltingness. Let's just go pick it up and put it on a different plate. But it's shiny! And put it on a different plate. <laughs> Just for display purposes. Haha! And here is our lovely Mother's Day lemon raspberry marble shortbread cookie. Look at that. We've got our marbled icing, we've got our marbled cookie. We got our uh, our luster dust, so we got a little glitter on there, and I'm not gonna taste it <laughs> right now because it still needs cooling. And so, ah, you know what? You know what? Why not? I already broke this one, so did I break it? I can't even find where I broke it. Maybe I didn't break it. I didn't break it. <laughs> 
no. I thought I got some. <laughs> I got some on me, but no, there's actually just bread on my shirt. But I know it's delicious because it's a good recipe. And I know it's going to taste great. And my sister and my mom are going to love them. It'll dry. This one, this one probably won't because I dipped it too warm. Um, but it is royal icing, so it will get nice and firm on top as it dries. Uh, but I'm going to dip the rest when they've had a chance to really cool <laughs> down. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say that's good enough to eat, right? Right? You think so? What am I doing? There's my, there's my thing. So that's another episode. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. It was so great to see you all. Uh, I'm going to give, I wonder if I follow Zach on Twitter, because I'm going to give him uh, so much love for bringing his raid and his community to see me. I'm going to bake some more and dip some more and get some pictures posted uh, on the Instagrams. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good enough to eat. My sister's going to love it. My mom's going to love it. Uh, and we're going to have a lovely Mother's Day. Thank you so much for coming. Let us find someone. Let's go. You know, let's go give Cajun a raid since he is raising money for the Trevor Project. So lots of support to him and lots of support to that cause because we love it. Uh, and it's so good for children uh, for LGBT youth that need a someone to turn to. So I'm going to go raid. I'm going to... Oh, there it is working. Um, Cajun Gamer. Uh, and tune in tomorrow. I'm going to try to get on tomorrow morning early before work and do some ring fit because I need to be accountable. And then, since I'm only going to last like 20 minutes doing that, we'll play some Snap too. Uh, so tune in for that, and until then, remember, it's going to be good enough to eat. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow or next time. And I don't have an ending graphic yet or any music or anything fancy, so I'm just going to dance until quick raid.